Hi, it's Jen with another Tech Tips 411 tutorial. And today I'm going to show you all the features and cool things you can do with Google Keep. So keep watching. Google Keep is one of my absolute favorite tools and I use it on a daily basis. I use Keep because it helps to keep me organized. If you're not familiar with Google Keep, it is a free tool, another app available with your Google account. So if you are on a school account or you're using a personal Gmail account, you can access Google Keep via the web at keep.google.com. So if you want to check it out, uh, please do. I'm going to highlight some of the reasons you're going to want to use it and then kind of level up with some tips I think that will help you if you're already using Google Keep to level up. Do me a favor, in the comments below, let me know, are you a Keep user? Do you use it? Does it keep you organized? So when you first open up Google Keep, you'll notice that at the top here is a very simple interface that says, take a note. So when you click on that, you've got quite a few options. You can give your note a title, you can start typing, and then all of these features down here. Here's why you'd want to use Google Keep. There are a number of features that I'm going to highlight here that I definitely think that you're going to find beneficial and why you'd want to use it. Keep is, think of it as those post-it notes, the, the sticky notes that you, I know I did this as a teacher. I'd write sticky notes everywhere and stick them on my laptop and stick them in my bags and everywhere. And, and then I'd lose my notes and then get all disorganized, not remember what I wrote the note about. So what's great is because it's available on the web, you can access it via, via your web browser, or you can actually access it on a mobile app, which we're going to look at the app as well. So you can check it out. So first of all, you can set reminders and to set a reminder down here, I can actually set a reminder for later today, tomorrow, next week, pick a date or time or a place. And we're talking about, about a place. That's a really cool feature that actually uses the location feature inside of the mobile app, which allows you to put a reminder, be like, oh, I got to remember to go by the grocery store and pick up milk. You can do that if you want. So uh, that's not educationally relevant, but it is still a really cool feature. Or technically it would be great if you needed to remind yourself to pick up a school supplies for something when you happen to be out and about. You can uh, share your notes by hitting this collaboration here. So if I want to add here who I want this to, to go to, you can share uh, your notes, not only with people inside of your organization, but outside with personal emails or in other school systems. So it's great if you're collaborating on something. Uh, great for you to share notes with uh, your teammates, even your students to keep them on track of like homework tasks that they need to do to share with your administration if you're working on a plan. Uh, and also just parents, if you want to keep them in the loop on stuff that's going on with their children. I love that you can change the note color. So you can actually come up with your own color coded system. Like what is a, you know, red means it's an action item or blue is whatever whatever however you want to come up with a system for you for your colors but what's great about that is i have in fact one of my schools that uses colors to code their classes so if you want to have notes that are specific to classes you could do that notes particular to subjects or just action items or you're just like the visual like matching your images that you upload uh to the colors uh, in your note it's up to you so you can upload images. And so when I choose to upload an image, it will let me pull from uh, my device. In addition to that, if I need, when I'm done with a note, I don't want it anymore, but I don't necessarily want to delete it. I could actually archive it. I can go to these three dots here right now and I can delete a note when I'm done with it. I can change a label and we'll talk about labels. The power of the labels is that I have multiple labels that I can set up and you can create new labels. And you'll notice I've added emojis both in the note and in my, in my uh, labels because to me it's just more visually interesting and it just kind of triggers for me what that note is about. Uh, and it serves as great bullet points. So I can add in here my uh, whatever one I want. You can tag multiple uh, lists if you want, which is great. So you can have multiple labels. You can add in a drawing so you can use the power of Google Drawing uh, inside your notes so you can uh, doodle something or draw a sketch. You can make copies of your notes. So if you once you make a note and there's things that you want to be able to duplicate. So if you wanted to create a personalized note for each of your students and then you can make it and then copy it to each and share it with each of them. Um, you can show check boxes and by doing that, then it becomes a to do list so you can mark things off. And what's also cool is you can make a checklist that you, you reuse, and I'll show you an example of that. Uh, and if you have a lot of stuff that you've written out or you've copied text from a, a document, you can 
add it to a Google Doc if you want. And there is an undo and redo if you make any changes to your note. And the other last important thing is you can also pin it. And pin means it's going to live at the top. So as you can see, those are some of the features, some benefits of using the mobile app or the extension. If you use the mobile app, there is the ability to do voice notes where you can record and transcribe. And I'm going to show you what that looks like. And you can also use touch annotation. And you can also do something that is absolutely magical, which is to pull text from images. I don't know about you. I often will take pictures of things and I don't know exactly what it was for. But like you scroll through your phone and you're like, I took a picture to remind me of something, but I have no idea what it is. But you can take a picture, you can add a note to it, or you can take a picture and pull the text out of it. So you were, so it has that text that was in it, which is super, super cool. Some ways you might uh, want to use it, the ways I use it, I use it for my things to do, my lesson ideas. I use it to keep track of my tech tips that I'm going to be pulling together. So uh, as you can see here, uh, I've got my, you know, information, my links that I need to automatically share out to teachers and want to have them at the ready. For example, accessing, you know, my Zoom for office hours. Here's that checklist I was talking about. So when I work on my Tech Tips 411, there's multiple steps, not just sending out the email. I got to create it and where all I shared on social and everything. And so that I don't forget any of those steps, I created a checklist. But when you're done, you can actually say to uncheck the boxes, which is cool. So I use it to track any new ideas. If I see a, a website or an article or anything that I think is going to be beneficial. And I have my to-do list. Uh, those are all the pin ones. But as you can see, I can scroll through and I've got lots of notes here. So there's a lot of ways you can use Google Keep. And you and one of the other benefits is using the Google Keep extension because you install it, you click on it, it will automatically help you grab URLs and images and text. And you can pull that together. So if you find a cool tweet or something like that and you want to save it, you can automatically use the Keep extension and it will save it into your notes. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hop into the app and I'm actually going to show you some of the features that I think are really cool about the mobile app. What I love is that you can toggle between not one, not two, but three. However many Google accounts that you have, you can have a Google Keep account for each one of those and go through and go to your different notes. So let's take a look at the mobile app for Google Keep. As you can see, I have the same notes that are available here in my iOS application. This does work on Android as well. What's great is that there's a search option. I can search for whatever I need. Um, I can search by the labels. I can search by the type of list, if it has images, if it's a recording. So that's the piece where this is really magical. So if I go down here in the bottom, I, I can say I want to do a checklist. So if I do that, it's going to make a list right there. So automatically it's a list option. If I choose to do the annotation option, so it gives me the tools that I would need here to be able to write using a highlighter, or I can change it to pen, press hold, choose the color that I want. And I can take notes. So if you're one of those that likes to jot things down instead of type them because you don't type very fast, you can also do it this way, which is really cool. I can go over here to the three dots. I can choose to send it, which means I can share it immediately. I can delete it. I can show a grid because it's a, if I'm going to draw, I can do that. And I can even use a select tool so that I can now drag this and move it and resize it. So it really kind of gives you the power to make little notes. So sketch noting, if you want to do that, it's pretty cool. So the other option that's really cool down here is this voice one. If you see the microphone, if I hit this button, it's going to ask me to speak right now. As I'm talking, it's capturing everything that I'm saying, and it's also transcribing it. Two things just happened here. It caught the audio and it transcribed it. So I can play it back. It's going to ask me. So I can play back the audio. And in addition to that, I've got the text as well. So I can give it a title. And I've got not only the voice note, but I've got the transcription as well. This is really a cool feature if you just want to do a quick voice note and you don't type very fast. Or think about it for your students that could do voice transcription for note taking as well. I can pin it if I want it to live at the top. I can also set a reminder. Same thing like on the desktop, I can say, remind me about this action item. Okay, so the other really cool thing uh, is the fact that you can use Google Keep to take pictures or to take a picture and take the text out of it. So I'm gonna hit this plus and I can choose an image from my camera roll that I already have and I can bring it in. So that's how I add like the labels and things that I want to be in there and I add Genmoji. So when I choose to say take a photo, this is what's really cool. So I'm going to take a photo of this poster and then I can say I want to use it or I can retake it. If I say use it, it's going to go here and I can put 
a note here and I can say this is ISTE poster. That's cool. It's a reminder if I want to put any notes on there, that's where I can add other elements I can draw. I can add other elements to my note. So the other cool thing though is there's not a lot of text on this one, but maybe you have an image with a lot of text. And I just want to grab that, mm, that top portion there. That's got most of it. Give it a title. And then I'm just going to go ahead and uh, save it. So now I've got this new note. So I'm going to go call up here for ISTE stretch. There it is. Here's what's cool. So I've taken this picture. Now that it's processed the picture, I'm going to go in here and hit these three dots. Anytime you hit, see the three dots in Google, that's where the magic happens. That's where the more is. So now I'm clicking on that and I'm going to say grab image text and look what happens. Everything, all of the text that was in that image, I've now pulled out. So this is great for note taking on screens. So if students are trying to capture a lot of information and it can and pull it out. Just so many cool applications here because now you could take an image pull in the text and then translate it if you wanted to. So there you go. Another really cool feature of the mobile app. The benefit of the mobile app is the fact that I can see all of my notes here very easily. And you'll see that the label here is at the bottom. So I've got my tech tips 411 uh, sections, I have things like that. I can make those labels and easily find them. So that's Google Keep uh, and the mobile app. So definitely you want to download the mobile app to maximize your use of Google Keep. If you notice at the top, I have a toolbar that has all of the different color codes. That's a Google extension. If you want to really level up your keep, I'll put a link to that extension below. So thank you so much for watching. If you found this video beneficial, you found these tips uh, useful for you, you know, let me know in the comments. Uh, are you using keep? Did you get a new tip that you didn't know about? Are you going to give it a try if you haven't used it before? And if you haven't already done so, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate you watching. Thank you so much.